Hello guys, I'm back on the PTR server to bring you a brand new build, which is Firebats. Yes, Firebats is back in a big way for the next patch. It's currently ranked second best build for a solo Wish Doctor PTR clearance man, on the solo records, which is amazing. So massive uh, thank you for Mr. Basconator man from Twitch TV for this build inspiration. This is all Mr. Basconators. Thank you very much, Basconator man. My pieces together, and you've done an absolutely fantastic job of testing this out. And here he is, guys. He's currently second place with Great Rift 79 cleared with this exact build. Obviously, his gear's a lot better than mine, Paragon levels and stuff. But it's a solid build, and it's absolutely fantastic. So let's go through the gear. Basco, thanks again, man. Amazing. All right, guys. So uh, yeah, let's go through it, man. So you want to use Piranhas, Piranha. They give you an extra 50% increased damage. Pretty much, you just want to use this to bunch up all the mobs. And then go in there and absolutely cook their fucking asses with the Cloud of Bats. This got buffed. On the PTR patch, it's now got a 15-yard aura, so it's much, much bigger than it used to be. Last time it used to be a tiny little thing, but now it's, it actually works now. You know, that's that's quite a sizable AOE now, so that's cool. You know what I mean? It works really well. It ticks well into the billions, and uh, it's a channeling spell as well. So as you hold down the right mouse button, after three seconds, it goes up to 850 weapon damage per second. So it's brilliant. It's really cool. Lovely. So it's really good, man. It's, it's, it's an old vanilla build from like three years ago. Back in the day, we used to use life steal scorns. Cast pestilence and just cook everything with the fire bats down. That's how it used to work. But uh, obviously, it's been an update for the for the, the big 2.4, which is coming out soon. Lovely. Okay, uh, this is a part pet build as well. Uh, you want to use uh, some of the zombie dogs, burning dogs, the burning dogs in general, and all that. The base rune of zombie dogs has now been buffed by four times more base damage, so the dogs hit much much harder now, much harder. And also, the fame aura here tooltip is incorrect. It's, it's a lot higher than 20% now. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's a lot, and it ticks well into the billions, so it helps extremely, extremely good. Excellent. Soul Harvest Language will give us an extra 50% armor, and of course, more intelligence increasement. Spirit World Jaunt, as usual, for the 3 seconds movement speed CC breaker. Big Bear Voodoo Rain Dance, we actually need mana in this build. So uh, this is here to make sure we never run out of power, so we can always channel our fire bats. It's absolutely amazing. For passives, we are using Pierce the Veil for the extra 20% damage here. Confidence Ritual gives an extra 25% damage within 20 yards. We're always in within 15 yards of our target, so this is always going to be proccing. Then Spirit Vessel for self res you always need, always need this for a GR clearance. And then Swamp Land Achievement, man, which is amazing. You and your pets gain 120% physical, poison, fire, and cold resistance for every enemy within 20 yards. Which is brilliant, man. So basically, what you want to do, you want to run into the middle of the mobs, and this will just make your toughness go through the fucking roof. My toughness is already going through like half a billion toughness right now on this. It's absolutely incredible. I'm like, on the fuck, it's absolutely crazy. And then the very last passive you need to have is Midnight Feast for the big dog, which increases the dog's damage by an extra 50%. So the dog will actually be creating in the region of about 30, don't anything up to 30, to about 45 billion, roughly, on my sheet DPS at the moment. Roughly, about roughly, man. So uh, there you go, man. There you go. Uh, let's quickly talk about cube items first. So uh, you want to use the new stuff of Chiopetria. Uh, fire bats attacks a hundred percent faster and costs seventy five percent less mana. Okay, so it lets you channel a lot, lot quicker and takes less mana. But it doesn't really matter about the mana side because we have to be very really rain dance. Brilliant. Okay, second, you want to use Clem's buff braces. This makes you immune to knockback and stun effects. The reason behind this is as you're channeling. You don't want to have your channel stopped at any time because you want to be ramping up that, that dot all the time and causing lots of damage. If you're being knocked and stunned back, it's going to interrupt your channel and you're going to die because you get more toughness as you're channeling because of these braces here. So you can see there, my toughness there is 142. And then when I start channeling, boom, you know what I mean? It goes right up because this is going to heal us all the time. That's the reason behind it. And then last but not least is the Tall Man's Finger. Tall Man's Finger now gives the dog two times more damage than it normally have. So that's why the dog hits so hard now. And it's a very, very nice addition to uh, to the build. Brilliant. Okay, other gear now. Uh, you want to use the Star Metal Kukri as usual. Make sure you've got an attack speed roll on this. Reason behind this, because the um, more attack speed you have, the faster you channel up to top DPS on your bats. Okay, lovely. So, uh, and you remember, everything on this build's got to be ancient as well, because it is a Lexia Nightmares build. Okay. Uh, for your Campion Serpent, uh, gives us an extra 30% damage reduction as well. Uh, you want Int Vitality, Crit Chance, and Area Damage, or Zombie Dog Damage. So... At the moment, I've only got area damage on here because you do want your bats to hit quite hard with area damage as well, which helps a lot. But if you can, if you want to, you can opt to dog. It's up to you. Okay. If you want more single target, then opt to dog. If you want trash clearance, then uh, opt to uh, to uh, area damage. Lovely. We're using the illusionary boots so that way we can walk through all the enemies. So that way, you know, because we're going to be in giant packs of mobs, we can't be, you know, we can't be 
stuck, you know what I mean, at any time whatsoever. So basically this gives us complete freedom of movement. We can even walk through Waller with these boots, so it's absolutely amazing. Lovely. Okay, up next is, uh, of course, Poxfold, Int, Vitality and Armor. Uh, basically, um, you emit a vile stench. It goes up to 550% weapon damage every second for 5 seconds with enemies within 15 yards. And approximately there's 3 nearby. So pretty much, this is free damage. Shame it's not fire, because it would have upped the damage even more. But um, yeah, these, these are best for it much for this build. Put them on, extra damage. Beautiful. Lovely. Uh, we're using the Belt of Transcendence, Int of Vitality, Percent Life and Armor. Uh, pretty much, basically, every time we hit with a Mana Spender, so basically when we hit them with our bats, we're generating up to 15 pets. We're generating up to 15 Cyclants, and those Cyclants will in turn um, proc um, from our Star Metal Kukri and give us permanent Big Bad Voodoo Rain Dance. So it gives you enormous amount of damage, off tanking, and infinite power. Brilliant. It's got great synergy in this build. Very, very good synergy. Lovely. Okay, so uh, what's the next, man? So Legacy of Nightmares. Um, you preferably want Trifecta Rings for this build. Attack speed, crit chance, CHD. Unfortunately, it's very hard to get. <laughs> so these are the best rings I've got right now. So uh, pretty much what Litany uh, Undaunted and Wayne Host, aka the LOM uh, build, what it does, it gives you 100% damage increasement per agent item on your character sheet. So we've got, ma you know, we've got maximum agents here at the moment. We've got 13. So we get 1,300% damage buff. And we get 4% damage reduction per aid legendary as well, which equals out to 54%. So, you know, straight away, this just gives you so much damage and so much defense. It's amazing. Legacy of Nightmares is the best thing that's happened to this game in a long time. Thank you, Blizzard. Don't nerf it. No more than this, otherwise this is no good. Brilliant. And the first gem we're using is Historic Alteration. You gain 40% not, uh, physical damage reduction. When you're below half-life, you're just going to shoot up. By 75%. So this gem makes us extremely tough once we hit that point where it's like, oh shit, I'm almost gonna die. And it goes bang and it makes you super tough again. So you see the toughness going up and down like crazy. It's brilliant. It's a really, really nice gem. Excellent. Okay, second ring then, of course, is the Wayne Host. And we're using Bane the Trap. Bane the Trapped within 15 yards. So basically, the aura of this will give us an extra damage straight away. When it's the prox itself, when it's above level 25, so we gain an extra 30, at rank 78, an extra 38% damage. So it's brilliant, it's perfect, so all the mobs get snared around you, you start cooking, and they get wrecked. Brilliant! So fucking cool, man. Excellent. Lovely. Okay, so we're using Task of Fios. Of course, it's got to be ancient. You want Trifactor, so attack speed, CC, CHD, the usual sort of thing. And this makes all our pets attack up to 50% faster, so all the Psycho fans, and obviously the dog. The dog is a big part of this build, because he's going to be weighing on the Elites and uh, the Rift Guardian and make things a lot quicker. Much, much quicker. So, um, Task is, is, yeah, you must have this. He's got man, this. It makes things a lot easier. Lovely. Okay, for shoulders, we are using the new Mantle of Channeling Shoulders. Now, what this does, you can get up to 25 increased damage and take 25 reduced damage when you're, when you're uh, channeling any of these spells. So, for us, it's going to be fire bats. So, we get massive damage increasement and tankiness. So, that's why you see the sheet damage going up and down all the bullet time. Brilliant shoulders, man. Absolutely brilliant shoulders. They drop for all classes as well. Lovely. Okay, uh, next item on the helm is called the Mask of Germ, Int, Vitality, and Crit Chance. And uh, this rolls up to 100% pet damage. And of course, you want um, a Vital Gem in your helm as well. I forgot to talk about the stats actually of uh, the Mantle of Channeling. You want Int, Vitality, and you can either opt for uh, area damage or life percent. It's up to you. If you want to be a bit more tanky, just put the life percent in. If you want more damage for your AoE dot, or sorry, your AoE channel with your fire bats, you can put some more area damage. It's up to you. I've not rerolled these yet, so I'm not too sure yet. Lovely. Okay, so uh, we're using the new Aquila Carace as well. Uh, preferably, you want Intelligence, Vitality, and Zombie Dog damage. And basically what this does is when you're above X primary resource, which will be all the time because we have infinite power from Big Bad Voodoo Rain Dance, we gain 50% damage reduction. This chest is amazing and it makes a lot of builds right now. It's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic for everything. Lovely. Okay, so Hellfire Amulet, of course, you've got to be ancient again. Intelligence, CC, CHD, and uh, I've got my secondary there, Life of Kill. Or melee, to be honest, melee damage reduction will probably be better on secondary if you're really looking for that. And the last gem we're using is Bane of the Stricken, and this is just before the Rift Guardian, pretty much. So, kill the Rift Guardian nice and nice and quick. Lovely. And the last item, of course, is the cause of the first spider, aka the Fire Bat Bracer. You want Fire, Intelligence, Vitality, Armor, and Crit. And the special of this is, you gain, um, while you're channeling Fire Bats, you gain 30% damage reduction as well. And also, anything from 60 to 80,000 life per hit. 
So obviously this makes us extremely tanky and heals us extremely well. I just wish this one had like 80,000 or 75,000 life per hit, then I'd be virtually indestructible. It's a fantastic build. So and there you go guys, that's all the gear. Uh, for Paragon, it's just usually when uh, movement speed, intelligence, and offense man. You want to go for attack speed plus CHD, then crit, then cooldown reduction. For defense, it's armor, life percent, all resistance, and life regen. Utility, uh, you want life on hit, area damage, resource cost reduction, and then gold find. And there you go. So what I'm going to do now, we're just going to do a very quick um, GR70. We'll show you this in action. Um, but this one can go up to 79, 79 plus, really, if you've got really good gear. Lots and lots of Paragon. It can go extremely high. Extremely high. So let's go in now, and I'm going to find a load of mobs. Bring them all up, and just channel. And look at our toughness. This build is so tough. Look, 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 look at the toughness. It's absolutely incredible. Well, I've got a leap pack now. So uh, let's bunch these bros up. Got Soul Harvest language up as well. And you can see them just get absolutely shown. These guys got Poison Enchanting, Jailer, Shielding, unfortunately. But pretty much, you just got to make sure that you're cooking the bastards. And a dog will help greatly with um, killing elites, actually, because it hits actually really nice and hard. Because obviously, we use Mask of Jerem and Tarsus, so the dog. Will be hitting very, very hard as well. If you have to, recast the dog. There we go, you can see the dog now biting in there, and the uh, fire bats will be just chewing up, man. You can see it procking well into the billions all the goddamn time. <laughs> oh my god. This is going to get a really nice big pack of mobs, man. Oh well, that'll do for now. But remember, if you don't channel, you're dead, okay? When you start channeling, that's when all your healing comes in, all your toughness from the channeling shoulders, and it just wrecks. And boom, look at that. You see this big dog like, hitting really nice hard damage. It's, just, it's a hybrid, uh, it's a, basically, it's a hybrid build. It's a hybrid build between the dogs and fire bats, but it works extremely well. There we go. You must make sure your soul harvest language is up all the time, because that also is a great shirt, your toughness, man. Unfortunately, this rift isn't that dense. Let's see if I can pick up a few bros here. There we go. Recast the dog now. If you can, try and get the dog on top of you. You know what I mean? You want, you want, the, you want all, the, all, the, all the mobs to be on top of you, man. There we go. Spirit walk now. Always spirit walk to your next target. So that way, on the transition, you ain't gonna die. But to be honest, this build is very tanky anyway. And you see, like, we're coming up to... It's crazy. Absolutely fucking insane. Bloody uh, toughness right now, it's absolutely mental. Right, let's keep going. Even the Rift Garden dies pretty quick, man. It does, pre does die pretty fucking quick. Especially with Stricken. You could change Stricken if you wanted to, to uh, like a Taker or something like that. If you want to kill Trash quicker, and even have even more defense. Taker gives us uh, damage and armor for every tick. So when you're channeling, man, it would be up pretty quickly. Especially with lots of attack speed and BBB behind it. So there we go. So now we do the Spirit Walk now. We drop. Prime on NATO, suck them all up together and just cook them. And just pretty much it. It's, it's actually, it's really strange going back to this build after all these years. I mean, it's been, it's been a long old time since I played a viable a, a Firebats build in this game. There we go, start cooking. I'm going to recast the dog again, get the dog right in the middle of all this. So he can just chew these bros up for me. There you go, look, just cooking them up, man. Fucking cooking them up! Nice. But like I said earlier, I, I, Blizzard um, were well, thinking about with the stuff of Cherry Patch of actually adding Firebats damage to it. So in the future, it might be actually worth carrying the actual Firebats stuff in a build. But if, if they do do that, then we'll rework out the build again. But right now, this this works great. Well, so Press Basculator Man has done a good job of uh, figuring this out. And it's just so tanky as well. It's just so tanky. It's crazy. Look at that toughness. Look. I'm not really in no. No, no bloody, no, not really going to die at all, are we, really, man? No, we come close to dying yet. Oh, here we go, we've got a little, a little leak back here. Let's see if these guys can kill us. We've got uh, disco beams as well, man. Now, I don't think I'm going to face tank a disco beam, but... Uh, we'll have a look, we'll let that one hit us. Let's see if we can take the damage. If this leak back and uh, live. Here we go, here comes a beam. And look at that, we just tanked it easily. But tanked and healed straight back up again. 
Wow, that's absolutely sick. This build is so tanky, it's crazy. Boom, dead. Wow. It's a shame we've got such a bad map with no density on this, to be honest. But if you get a lot of mobs around you, it's pretty fucking fun. Yeah, we've got a half decent pool here now. I'm going to on my dog again in the middle of all this. This is fire pulses AoE in like crazy. Just see these bros get wrecked. So let's move over to here now. And start chowing down. You can see loads, you can see billions of damage ticking away. And remember, I don't have the uh, new recipe on all of my gear yet, so I'm actually missing uh, quite a lot of main stat. And we're, we're burning through the 70 with ease, to be honest. Nice pop down here. But it's, it's just like I said, it's really nice to play play the old firebats build again. It's very, very cool. Used to be the old go-to build back in the middle of days, man. Pardon me, I can know. Bunch him up. There we go, start cooking. 32 build crit there from a the dog. Fantastic. Recast dog. Uh, start burning. Ah, fucking cook you, demon whores! <laughs> fucking hell. This feels bad like it feels like Vanilla, vanilla D3, man. But with a twist, of course. A big fucking doggy twist. That's what it's fucking got right there. Right, let's go over. Let's find some more mobs. Really bad uh, density riff, this one. Remember, though, before you move, please make sure you got Big Bad Voodoo off cooldown, okay? Because, uh,. Otherwise, you might start you might start channeling and die because you can't channel anymore. When you're channeling, that's when you get all your toughness. Without that, you're getting to die basically. So uh, always make sure BBV is up before you move, preferably. Okay, if you can, of course, it doesn't always happen. Well, I've got a really horrible pack here. What have they got? Uh, frozen pulse thunderstorms. So they've got a lot of direct damage on this one. But the more, remember, the more mobs around us, the stronger we get. Look at that, look. Wow, look, half, look at that, 503 million. Oh my god, it's fucking crazy. And we see it, we could just channel here. It, it's such a lazy build as well. You just walk into mobs, hold down right mouse button, and everything dies. But pretty much, that, that's what it is. It's really fun, actually. It's actually really, really fun. Alright, let's pop down here. Oh, what's this? Channeling pile, oh, okay. Die! It's cool, man. It's really, really cool. Right, let's pop down here now. Get a few mobs. A few more mobs, please. Prodonado! And cook! Ah! What's nice as well is uh, because you've got fetishes in this build as well, not only providing additional DPS, they're uh, doing off tanking for you. Otherwise, you might get burst down. You don't have the fetch belt, but you need to have the fetch belt on though because you need them the guys to uh, refresh uh, BBV. Without BBV up, you, you will die because you won't get a perma channel. So you know, the pets are need for this build right now. You, you need the pets. Oh, that was my self raise. My self raise finally went up. What have these guys got? Lucianist, mortar. Yeah, it's quite a nasty pack actually. One thing that will kill you on this actually, if, if you're a little bit sloppy, is frozen. So when you see frozen like this. Just as it can explode, quickly hit Spirit Walk. And uh, then rechannel. Most of the time, you can survive. Well, it depends on your gear score, obviously, but most of the time, you can survive uh, a hit of Frozen. It depends what other effects are going off at the same time. There we go. My Spirit Vessel's down at the moment, so I'm going to move out of that just to be careful. As you see, though, the Pots Foles is uh, stinking up the mobs all the time as well. Once three mobs are on more. Are close by. Right, almost down now. Shiloh uh, Pack's been a bit of a pain actually, because it slowed the dog down if the dog was being frozen, so yeah. But yeah, it's amazing how tough this build is. It really is. Tough as hell. You can just sit there and just milk shit. It's crazy. I just wish we had a denser rift. You know what I mean? Really pull a lot of dudes, man. Like a lot of dudes. Let's see, let's see if we can get a nice little pull going here. There we go. Oh, we've got fire. We've got fire chain pack. Ugh, nasty. With orbiter and shit. What I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna recast my dogs right on top of where I'm standing, so they're gonna melee 
these nasty fire chain fucking pack here right now. And even this fire chain pack, we're just tanking it, man. So that's the top tip. When, when you're channeling and the dog's off cooldown, obviously you have to be a little bit careful. But uh, recast your dog on top of you when you're on an elite pack. Because that way you know the dog is going to be biting those elite packs and causing fucking tons and tons and tons and tons of damage straight away. You know what I mean? Doing that just to get up a little pull here. There we go. Start channeling. It's just amazing, look. As tough as we are, we're so strong. My hit points are pretty almost 900k right now, and I'm actually missing the vitality roll on my chest plate, so yeah, it could be slightly better. But you can see the dog though taking lumps out of those elites, man. Woof! Beautiful. I'm not sure where the other bro went. Well, I've lost him. There we go. Just chop these fuckers up. It's just crazy how strong you are in this build. Just sit here, just channel all day. All fucking day. Now let's get to the next map. Hopefully we can get a bit of a bigger pool. Oh, go here, some goat bros. Oh, these quite some nice. Tus you know, these Tuscan, uh, these at fire mobs, man. These are nasty mobs, like really nasty mobs. Those traps and shit they fire down. So this is actually quite a good test right now of what we can tank. We all know about those little traps, those bros that drop on the floor. You know what I mean? All right, so we've got uh, unfortunately a kiting mob. But pretty much, I'm just going to try face tank all his damage. Look at that, he just dropped his main nuke and it only dropped me a touch. You can see the dog is taking massive lumps, and remember, we are using. Um, Bane of the Stricken as well, so the dog and of course my fire bats are ticking this, this RG for huge damage. We're now at full ramp, and we're just sitting there face tanking all of his damage on GR70. Holy shit. But yeah, this build can go up to around 79. Yeah, Basket's already done 79, and I'm pretty sure he can get an 80 once he fishes hard enough. And there you go, how easy was that? How fun was that, man? It's so cool, man, to start playing the old fucking fire bats again. And this is currently second top build. At the moment for the witch doctor for solo so it's pretty impressive stuff guys very very impressive stuff um i'm just gonna upgrade this and blow this up a bit later so i can power up my suit a little bit lovely all right let's keep going boom, 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 boom. lovely just upgrade this last gem so we're going live on twitch fairly soon uh, twitch tv guys slash big daddy den 76 if you want to come watch give us a follow man i'll stream daily and I'll be probably playing this down on the stream because it's fucking good fun. It's good back going back to an old vanilla fire bat spilled. It's very, very cool. Fantastic. And uh, there you go, guys, man. As usual, I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed the fuck playing out this fucking old school fire bat smed. And it's even better than before. It's a fantastic build. Fantastic. Basco, thanks again, man. For pieces together it's fantastic so uh there you go guys as usual uh, please like and subscribe if you've got any comments below or any way to improve this build please free feel to share the info man and we get this build even powerful lovely okay guys i'm out of here i'm big daddy and i'll see you guys next time have fun in century and uh see you soon fire baby cook them all